to us, it's really important that all blockchains have some kind of function. Uh, otherwise, uh, this kind of mantra of not your keys, not your coins, just means that uh, the person that can perform the biggest cyber attack gets rewarded the most. My name is Connor Murray. I work at the BSV Association, and I'm the director of stewardship, uh, where we protect the original Bitcoin protocol and also fund the development of uh, future node software of the BSC blockchain. Digital asset recovery basically takes what already exists with any digital asset, stocks, bonds, digital bank accounts, things like that. If someone steals your funds, there's a way to recover them. So all digital asset recovery does is apply what we do with every other uh, digital asset and bring it to blockchain. So to us, it's really important that all blockchains have some kind of function. Uh, otherwise, uh, this kind of mantra of not your keys, not your coins, just means that uh, the person that can perform the biggest cyber attack gets rewarded the most. If a cyber attack occurs, we can just take the money right back. So in the digital asset recovery process, there's uh, three parties. So the regular court processes for establishing asset ownership, token recovery as our partner, and us as the association. The association uh, who uh, acts as the steward and uh, ensures that digital asset recovery is possible on the blockchain. Uh, we partner with token recovery, which enables users to basically take incoming requests. If, if you lost your coins or uh, you know, uh, your coins were the victim of some kind of hack, you can put a request into token recovery. They will help ensure you have all the needed documentation that, that fulfills our requirements for being a valid court order. Token recovery will then bring the court order to us. Uh, we will execute whatever is needed from the court order, whether that's a freeze or unfreeze or a recovery action. The alert system is a system for us to send messages to the node network. Those messages could be as simple as, hey, look, we've released a new version of the software. We have to basically just hope miners see that we had released the software. Uh, this would allow us to message them directly. It also allows us to inform network participants of any uh, potential attack. A lot of this myth that blockchain transactions are irreversible if we can show with digital asset recovery that it's not true, uh, hopefully we can uh, disincentivize a lot of attacks and attackers uh, from uh, performing what, what has caused a lot of reputational damage to the industry. Mm -hmm.